trying out a new brand today that I've never tried on before in my life. It was actually recommended when I posted on Instagram asking you all which brands you would wanna see me try on, what types of videos you would wanna see, and my friend Charlie Ann here on YouTube and Instagram is an amazing friend and I love her, and she recommended, along with many others of you, to try out a brand called Lucy and Yak. They are, I believe, a UK-based brand. I'd seen them before because they're really famous for their overalls, or if you're over on the other side of the pond, dungarees. Why is dungarees just like such a funny word to me? <laughs> they have a uh, relatively size inclusive clothing They also have a lot of gender neutral clothing, which I think is incredible and very important and they are ethically and sustainably made So we have another one to add to the list of a really dope company that cares about the planet, which we love They just have lots of really fun funky colors. I like the style I think it's just really fun and maybe some of this stuff I'll be able to share with Drew who knows so I did order I believe I put together like four outfits as I'm sure you know if you've watched my try on hauls but in case you haven't I'm just gonna go through each item talk about it a little bit try it on give you my first impression and we'll see how this goes together let's do it I did take everything out of the package because I just wanted to make sure that I like got the stuff out and then disposed of the package that it came with because you just never know with like mail and the virus so I've got all the items right here but I will say it did come in a paper bag which was dope I thought that that was really sustainable of them and really awesome but all of the individual items were wrapped in plastic so just something to mention so here we've got a bunch of really fun colors to choose from I honestly don't know where to start I think I'll just kind of like work off the top here so this first item here is called the Ari lettuce hem cropped organic tea in rose pink I ordered this in an extra large and this is $19 so very affordable comparable to what you would find at like Target so here we have it it's like a nice little kind of just like cropped lettuce hem tea I believe this is hundred percent cotton yeah hundred percent organic cotton which is nice keep away from fire good to know but look at how pretty that is it's a really pretty color I think it's gonna look really nice with my hair and then I believe to go with it yeah I picked out a pair of overalls which I'm excited for oh you know what I did just notice it says right here on the plastic packaging that it is OXO biodegradable and recyclable I'm very impressed how cool so I can recycle this Ugh, even better so the overalls that I didn't even tell you about are called the Easton organic heavy cotton twill oversized dungarees in the color eggshell blue I got these in a size 14 regular I'm nervous because with UK sizing it might be different like is it a UK 14 which would mean a US 10. I don't know how this sizing is gonna work. I don't know what was going through my head when I was picking this stuff out. I don't know if I chose the right size. This is what the overalls look like. I just love this color and I thought these two together would just be so cute and fun and colorful. You'll see as this haul goes on, but I am really having fun playing with color today. We're gonna go all out with this. I guess we'll try these on together. I, I think these will fit. God, I hope so. Fingers crossed they work out. So here we have the first outfit. I'm a little confused as to how I'm supposed to tie these. So I feel like I tied them really weird, but I've never had overalls that I've had to tie before. Maybe like this. I don't know. I don't know how to make it cute like the models had. I guess that's a little better. We'll play around with it, but I actually love the way these fit. I can't believe that I eyeballed it so well and that I ordered a pair of overalls that fit me. Like that's just absolutely never happened ever especially a long pair of overalls but like look how fun this is such a fun colorful outfit if you're a person that's like been wanting to play around with color or if color is like a huge part of your wardrobe i would highly recommend checking this brand out because this is so fun okay so with the shirt it has like the cute little lettuce hem which is adorable this would be cute with leggings with jeans with literally anything it's a basic i love the color these are so fun together the overalls are like actually surprisingly really comfortable i think because there's like a wider leg to them like they're not like super tight they're just nice and easy to move around in so here's like a side angle what the side looks like here's the back you're seeing it before me. This is so much fun. I see a lot of the models on their site wearing like Doc Martens and combat boots and stuff with these. I could definitely see that. Also just like white sneakers. I'm so happy that I got a pair of their like iconic dungarees. It's like what I had to start with obviously because it's a sort of what they're known for. I think I'd be really interested to see how these fit on Drew as well. They might be a little big on him and probably short, but maybe if he like rolled them up or something. I don't know, pretty cute. You just can't stop staring at the color in the camera. Like it's just so pretty. It's gonna be hard to top this one. 
Just being honest. Next up for another fun, colorful item, I picked out this top, which is called the Nola Block Color Boxy Tee in the color pink, yellow, and green. I ordered it in an XL, again, in this recyclable packaging. This shirt is sort of what I pictured when I think of Lucy and Yak, like when I've seen it in the past. A lot of UK bloggers and YouTubers I've seen wear it, and like, how fun is this shirt? I don't own anything like this. This is so unique, and actually, I probably could have sized down to a large just looking Looking at this because it is really boxy and it's definitely oversized. Look how fun these colors are. This is so cool. I really wanted to find to go with it a pair of jeans, but a lot of the stuff that I looked for when I was searching was sold out. I've just looked at the site now and it seems like they have a lot more stock available. So it's probably just the time that I shopped, but I did pick out these jeans, which I think are a paper bag waist jean. These are called the Addison High Waisted Organic Cotton Twill Jeans in the color black. I got them in a 32, which I do believe is a US size 14, I hope. These look fun, like these are so different than anything I would normally wear. They don't have a butt pocket, they have the Lucy and Yak here on the back. They're just like fun and funky and I thought that for this haul I would really kind of step outside my comfort zone. You know, usually when I'm trying a new brand, I typically look and obviously gravitate towards things that are typically my style, like that's something that I would usually wear, it's the color that I would usually wear, etc. But I don't know, I just thought I would like step outside the box a little bit today. This waist does look a little tiny, so whew, I don't know. I don't have a measuring tape to like measure my waist, so I wasn't sure about this, but I am a 32 in American sizing, so let's hope for the best with this. So, um, sometimes things just don't turn out the way you expect, and that is okay. We'll start with the positives while I sit here with my belly out on the internet. You know what? It's just a belly. It's not the end of the world. For the top, I love it. Drew just came up here and he was like, that looks so cute on you. And I was like, thank you. Like, I just love the alternating sleeve colors. I just love how fun and funky it is. So cute, but like simple at the same time. But the jeans, unfortunately, are a huge fail. I cannot get them to button at all. I don't know if it's because of the style, like it's a super cinched waist or if I just ordered the wrong size. I feel like typically like when I shop at Madewell and places like that, I'm like a 32 or a 33, but maybe because these are UK sizing or because it's more of a unisex thing. I'm not sure, but these just do not fit. I'm sad because they're really cute pants. So I'll probably end up having to put these on Poshmark or something. I would definitely say these are more like a 12 and I'm more of like a 14, 16, so. Unfortunately, that's a miss, but like if you were to <coughs> If you were to just look at it like this, it's a pretty cute look like okay look at it that way Not bad this 10 out of 10 these are like 8 out of 10 just because they don't fit but like they're still really cute I like the length I can you know judge off of that. I like the length. I love the way they fit in the thigh I'm sure they'd be a lot less um, Flexible <laughs> if I had them buttoned at the waist. I'm a little disappointed, but I did order up in the next pair of pants, which I'll show in a moment. So fingers crossed for that. Next up, you wanna talk about color? I'm giving you color, okay? So this one is, we'll start with the top. It's called the Piper Crop Vest Top in orange. I got it in a size XL. It is $16, by the way. I kept forgetting to mention the prices before. So I think a vest top in like UK lingo is like a tank top. I'm pretty sure it's the same thing. I've been really liking orange lately and I just put on a fresh fake tan. It's a little patchy, but we won't talk about that. So hopefully this will look really cute with it. And yeah, I got it in an XL. So it does look like it's gonna fit. So I'm hopeful. And this one is actually really, 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 really soft. So I like that. And then I thought for a fun little pop of color, I would go with some pink. I saw these pants. I really wanted the bubblegum pink color, but they were sold out. So I decided to try this pair. And these are called the Made in Britain Kirkby Cargo Pants in Strawberry. Ugh. I got these in a size 16 because I was like, well, I don't know about this. And then I wasn't sure about the UK sizing thing. So I don't know. It says a 34 inch waist. I'm typically a 32 or 33, but again, with like a cargo pant like this, there's really not much give. So I was quite nervous about the sizing. And again, I have never tried this brand before. Ugh, this look with maybe some white Doc Martens. I mean, I have fake ones, but like close enough. Okay, how fun is this? Wow, what a freaking cute outfit. I look like a piece of fruit. Honestly, goals. We'll start with the top here. So I love this orange 
best top. I like the length of the crop. I love the material. Like I said, super, super soft. Definitely like, I don't know. I wish that the armhole was a little bigger. Just a small critique. If you had larger arms than I did, it might cause a little bit of a problem. But again, just something I thought I'd throw out there. And then moving on to these pants. Wow. So, okay, these pants, the color, amazing. Ideal, incredible. I'm actually super glad I got these and I might now look into the bubblegum pink ones. However, this is my correct size. So I am a 16, which I, I don't know. Is that a UK 16, US 12? Or is that just a US 16? I'm very confused, I don't know. But this is definitely my size because if I were to go any smaller than this, it would not fit. And I would consider going up in size to maybe an 18 but with the fact that these are probably gonna like stretch out a little bit throughout the day as you wear them I don't know if that's a good idea because then what if they're too big but I would be curious to try on a size 18 as well just to kind of see what the difference is but these are so cute I did notice that I don't know if it's because I'm just tall but they are pretty cropped on me they're borderline a capri at this point but again that could just be because I'm a taller person I mean I'm not super tall I'm like 5'9 such a fun funky look I mean am I going through an age identity crisis at the moment yeah absolutely is my life falling apart and like I'm just trying to find solace in clothes yes but also clothing doesn't have an age it doesn't have size it doesn't have a gender it doesn't have anything related to to that so I think I can wear whatever the hell I want right I definitely think this is my favorite we have one more to go but I don't know it's gonna be really hard to top this because like look at this final little like side view here which I showed before also just want to normalize the fact that um, sometimes you wear clothing and your skin hangs over it because it's skin and that's what it does and then here is a little back view I definitely shouldn't have worn granny panties today but honestly it's just my life. And last but not least, I had to try one of their amazing jumpsuits. They had so many to choose from, but not many available like on the website in my size. So this one I chose is called the Eddie Organic Corduroy Boiler Suit in the color Rust. I picked it up in a size XL. This is gender neutral. So I'm hoping that Drew and I are gonna be able to share this because I feel like it would look so dope on him as well. It's really soft. I was actually thinking because like the cargo pants and like the overalls, they're a very stiff non-stretchy cotton material almost like a canvas if you will and this is just like a soft buttery it almost feels like if you just had a corduroy shirt but it's like an entire outfit so i'm really excited about this all the opportunities i love the rust color i feel like it's gonna look good with my new hair but also would look good with any hair color any skin tone so we're gonna try on this eddie corduroy and see what eddie is all about i don't know i'm really stepping out of my comfort zone with this one so i don't know We'll see if I can do it. Okay, so like not to toot my own horn or anything, but this looks banging. It's so comfortable. Like this literally feels like I'm wearing pajamas. It's just so comfy. It's got like a stretchy, super stretchy waist. Like definitely, if you were a double XL, you could probably still fit into this very comfortably. I love this. The material is so soft. It's like pretty thin as well. So it's not like rigid. You're able to really move around in it. I know we all love my flailing on this channel. I'm sorry, I'm not graceful. Top up here, super cute. I could probably like afford to button it one more time because you know, my boobies are popping out. It's so different from my style. Like I sort of feel like I'm in, what is the movie, Armageddon? <laughs> sort of feel like that but like it's cute also yeah like it just sits at the perfect place on your waist super high waisted you could wear a belt with it like I said I can tend to fit really well into XLs on the top and then sometimes XLs on the bottom don't fit at all but these are great they have pockets I mean what more could you want I definitely feel like wearing something like this I'm like a cool girl you know like I feel pretty cool the fact that I just said that makes me automatically not cool. I'm so pleasantly surprised with everything I've tried on. Like it's all been great. I mean, with the exception of the one pair of the black pants that didn't really fit. I mean, they didn't fit at all. And the orange vest top was just a little, it ran a little small in my opinion for an XL, but like still really cute, great quality, all of these. And it's sustainable and ethical and they don't support, you know, stupid gender norms that are attached to clothing. I just love it. I love it a lot. I'm happy to support this company. Of course, I'm gonna link everything that I purchased down below in case you wanna try it on. Try it out for yourself. I love it. I just, I have nothing but good things to say about it. I'm definitely going to be shopping this brand in the future. I've already noticed that they've restocked a lot of things, gotten some new teas in and things like that. I am in love. 
Now I'm gonna go head to the moon and I'll catch you later. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Turn on my post notifications if you wanna be notified every time I post a new video. Let me know in the comments below if there are any other brands that you wanna see me do try-ons of. I love doing these. They're so much fun. It's like a fun little experiment for me. I get to be the guinea pig for you. And I would love to prioritize like sustainable and ethical brands, of course, because it's the best for the environment. You know, we all know fast fashion isn't great, but also I do wanna focus on size inclusivity on my channel as well. So any size inclusive brand recommendations would be highly, highly appreciated. And yeah, I just love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.